ez itt egy újabb tesztfesztivál podcast, én Kata vagyok, és itt ül mellettem, elnézést, ezt angolul kell mondjam. And uh, now I'm here with Ivan Feselic and uh, Lucia Dujmovic. Hello, guys. At first, uh, Hello. <laughs> at first uh, I want to ask you, how did you prepare for this, um, for this performance? Uh, so, working uh, on this uh, project was, uh, I would say, a challenge for all of us. Uh, and it uh, lasted for a couple of months, I think two, three months when you uh, count everything. Uh, so, um, we were having preparations that include um, uh, doing a lot of exercise and physical stuff uh, at first. And then the second part was... Um, uh, exploring a lot of things that we uh, do in the show and uh, exploring each and every character. So all of us had to explore all of the characters and be familiar with their, uh, with everything that happened to them, with their CV, so to speak. Um, and then we actually started doing the, the, the show from the beginning till the end. So I think we were also very... Um, in it, uh, like mentally, physically, psychologically, uh, absolutely focused and concentrated to, at every m step of making this uh, uh, theater show, we were all very aware what it takes to do it, what each and every person who we are um, actually, you know, having in the in the in the theater show um, did in their life. So I think the preparations were very thorough. So to say. Uh, firstly, <coughs> all the material is uh, is a little bit loud. And the, all the material are the diaries or the the speeches or the manifests of those people of those murderers and self murderers. So uh, nothing in the play is uh, written by us. Nothing. Ninety percent of of the material is is written by by those people. Uh, we did it by a book from Franco Berardi, based on a book on uh, Franco Berardi Bifo, Heroes, uh, Mass Murderers and Self-Murderers. And uh, all, the, all the lines are, all the preparation was actually reading their thoughts, reading the, the flow, flow of, of their, like, journals, journals yeah. So uh, that was a, a little bit, uh, firstly, that was so intense, reading about all of, um, and just reading on loud and speaking about th this subject. I remember uh, three, three weeks after the rehearsals, one day I, I uh, got and puked mm -hmm. because it was so, so much stress on, on my body and my mind to, to, to be involved in such this thing. But now, okay, I can like make a, um, make, make a distinction. A distinction between me and, and distance. that d distance, distance between the di from yes the, uh, from what we did and what we yes. prepared for. But it was very very intense in the beginning. And uh, I wanted to ask, uh, why did you choose those characters on the stage, or uh, they were uh, they were the characters on the on the in the book, in the book. Mm -hmm. There was a couple more uh, mass murders. But uh, the, the director, he chose this speci special, these five of them, because uh, he had a dramaturg line between them. So he chose them because the, the, the mind flow, flow of, the, of the thoughts was pretty much similar. Mm -hmm. I see. And um, I think uh, this kind of performance has this, um, <coughs> had this specific structure that uh, you can uh, just pull out and uh, put anywhere in the in the history history timeline, I think. And uh, if you would do this um, play in another time, what would you choose? Um, I, I would say is uh, it's it's tough to give you the the answer for maybe one yeah. uh, very important thing that I also think we need to grasp from the show, and that is the fact that all of them had this um, 
uh, thought that it was necessary for all of them to um, record what they are doing and put it online and put it and videotape themselves and 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 send it to the to the TV stations or radio stations or, or whatever just to get that mass attention of what they were doing. So, from my point of view and from my perspective, I don't know how to put it in a historical context because back then, like 18th century, 17, 16, whatever, they didn't have the ability to go with it so massively. Mm. So m maybe if we would try to do that, I think that then we would necessarily have to choose murderers who did it for the sake of murder, murdering people for no other purposes but th that. But these people had a lot of other purposes but to just kill. It was about the message, to send the message to to, to let everybody else know what they were thinking and why they did it. Yeah. So I think it's very hard to put it in another historic context without the media, which is, I think, one of the uh, very important things connected to this show and to all of the characters we play, mm -hmm. so to speak. So I wouldn't really know <laughs> how to answer you uh, properly with names and people from history. Thank you. <laughs> um, um, do you have, um, I mean, did you have some fears, some fear about uh, this project or uh, what, what is going to be like? Like just the play? Yes. Yeah, the, the perception of, of the people who, who watch this is, uh, it's like, I think the audience doesn't have any clue what are they going to see and uh, it's in my opinion it's one of the probably the darkest play in Croatia and the darkest play I, I played in or watched because it's totally nihilistic we at the end we there's n there's no happy end and it's like that that's the fear uh, the, the fear lives it's it wasn't the fear just before the the premiere but uh, the the fear is whoa every time how the people will react on on the on the whole play which is very dark and nihilistic and it's like this is the end and, uh, and also uh, knowing that s sometimes in between the shows we would do there were actually another mass murders that happened in the meantime for example the one that happened school on school shooters mm -hmm. school shooters yes for, for for example the one that happened on new zealand was actually i think a day or two before we had a show in zagreb and uh, so before the show um, our director came out and just said that we are playing this for all the victims that uh, died uh, in new zealand uh, from that guy who who, who committed in christchurch uh, uh, yes. and we played this uh, on a festival in belgrade in belgrade and the uh, direction of the public was, of the audience, audience was like, okay, why are people in Croatia doing a, a theater play about school shootings in America? And last year, a kid, a 13-year-old kid kills half of the class in, in Belgrade. It, it's our neighboring country, and it's like, it, it was very stressful for us. Yeah, it changed the perspective, the perspective of people of living uh, in these countries uh, yeah. because it can also happen here and not just in America. Mm -hmm. So, I kick up to the microphone. Okay. I uh, I forgot my question. That's fine. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Yes, um, I wanted to ask that. Um, I was reading about the play, and uh, did you um, or have you read the original novel that uh, the play is uh, based on? Um, yes, w I have personally. I think all of us yeah, have, um, and uh, I think that um, a part of it was used for the show we're making, but uh, as uh, Ivan said, we had three narrative lines in during the show, so the first one was 
Youth Without God, and then it was Franco Berardi before with the heroes, and then journals and manifests that they wrote. So um, Youth Without God was some sort of a baseline from which we then uh, started doing uh, the show before, because we had the classroom and classmates Key and lines. teachers, so that's mm. sort of a Don't base from which we um, gradually not then uh, <laughs> made the whole show from, <laughs> from the beginning. Thank you. And... Um, <laughs> it's just for me, so um, <coughs> so That's I think uh, now we all know our time is over. But uh, you can uh, ans you can answer for my uh, question uh, if you want to. What was the question? About <laughs> reading the novel. Yes. Uh, um, well, it's uh, it's still um, it's still actual. It's more actual actual. Actual, uh, it's actual in. Um, it's a it's a modern book. It's like book in this time we're living in. Mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> it, it was like a like a George Orwell novel yeah, for of. me. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you for coming. And uh, thank you. In the end, can I ask you to <laughs> to say that um, one Hungarian line you know. Just one, I know. Pirush Fahir Zult is a Magyar field. Okay, thank you so much. Köszönöm, hogy itt voltatok velünk. Sziasztok!